So for this ornament, I am going to be using the metallic crochet thread size 10, and then you just need some scissors. And then for the crochet hook, I am going to be using a size 7, which is a 1.65 millimeter hook. And a lot of doilies um, I have found require a size 7 also, so this is a very popular size to use with a size 10 thread when making doilies. So we're going to take the thread and our size 7 hook, which is this, and I'm going to tie a slip knot. And so how I like to do that is just hold, hold it like this, and then I cross over like that and just pull down a little loop and I put my my hook right in there and then I just kind of pin it with my right hand and then I just feed through the loop and make the slip knot. Okay and so now we are going to chain six so one two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to join the ring with a slip stitch. So keep a nice tension here and take your hook and go to the first chain and insert it in there, yarn over, and pull all the way through for a slip stitch. We're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And this chain three is going to act as a double crochet. So we're going to add 11 more double crochet into the ring. And we're also going to crochet over the tail to kind of weave it in as we crochet. It's always kind of a little helpful thing to, to do that, to save a little time weaving in ends when the project is finished. So let's go ahead and yarn over and we're going to insert directly into the ring and just keep the tail right like that so that we can weave it in as we go. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops, and then yarn over through the last two to make that first double crochet. And that makes two, so we're counting this chain as one. And we're gonna do 10 more to make 12. So go ahead and complete the 12 in the ring, and I will see you back here at the beginning. All right, so we have made 12 double crochets in the ring, and this is what it's looking like so far. And then what we'll do is we're going to join at the top of the first chain three. So right here, we are going to insert our hook and join with a slip stitch to join the ring again, to make a nice little ring like that. And now we're going to chain three again. And now we're going to double crochet in the same stitch right here. So right where we are, we're going to stay and we're going to double crochet and we're gonna go right back into that stitch and make a double crochet. And now we're going to do a front post double, a front post double crochet. So yarn over, if you've never done this before, this is how you do it. You yarn over like you would, and in the, in the post here, so you see this is the double crochet here, we are going to go back and around it. So we're totally behind 
the stitch of the double crochet and that is called a front post and then you just yarn over and pull behind and pull up a loop and then yarn over and go through the first two like you normally do and then finish it off like you normally would a double crochet and that is a front post double crochet okay and in the next double crochet we will just do two double crochets in the next double crochet so yarn over go to the next double crochet pull up a loop complete the double crochet and do one more in the same stitch the same double crochet okay and that's what we're gonna do all the way around so let's do it one more time together so in the next double crochet in the next double crochet we're gonna go around the post so we're gonna yarn over we're gonna insert in between see how there's two we're going right through the center in between the two double crochets you can see the hole there and you're going behind it okay you can see we are just behind the double crochet and then yarn over use your other hand sometimes you can you can use your other hands to do all kinds of helpful things yarn over pull up a loop draw through the first two and draw through the second two just like normal okay and that just kind of gives kind of a neat layered look to this first part so and then in the next double we'll do another two so we'll just yarn over pull up a loop make a double crochet and add one more to the same stitch right there So we're going to do that all the way around the rest of it and I will see you back at the first chain three. All right, so I have completed my last front post double crochet and I am back at that chain three that we started with. So I'm going to go ahead and go in there and slip stitch to it to close the circle. Okay. And you will have 18 stitches all the way around. We are going to chain six, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we are going to skip the next two stitches. And we say stitches because sometimes it's not always the same. Sometimes it's a single that you're going into. Sometimes it's a double, sometimes a treble. So when you start mixing stitches around in, in whatever you're doing, it's safer just to call it a stitch so that you don't get hung up on what it is. If you know what it is, that's fine. But it's easier just to say stitches when you start combining things. So we are going to skip the first two stitches so as you can see, we've got our chain six here and it's coming right, right out of this one. And so we are going to skip this stitch and this stitch. And we are going to slip stitch right in here. And this looks like this was an increase of two double crochets so all right so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna zoom back out we are skipping this one and this one and we're going right into that one and we are 
our slip stitching. So pull it all the way through. And that is what we're doing all the way around. So let's do another one. We're going to chain six, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and just know exactly where you came out of. So we came out of that one right there, right there. So we're going one, two, and the third. So skipping the first two, slip stitching in the third, basically. Slip stitching in the every third, if you want to think of it that way. Skipping two, slip stitching in the third. And we're going to do another chain six. So we are creating six loops all the way around. And then you just go skip the next two. So one, two, three. Okay, so go ahead and complete the round and I will see you back at the beginning. So I am at my last chain six and I am back to the beginning here. So I am going to slip stitch. So I'm skipping the first two and that lands me right here. Just gonna slip stitch and close and that should give me six loops one two three four five six we are going to slip stitch in the very first loop we made from last round and just slip stitch this is getting us into that loop. And now in this loop, we are going to do six double crochet together, followed by a chain three, and then another six double crochet together in the same loop. And how we're starting that off is with the chain three to act as that first double crochet. So chain three, and then yarn over, go into the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through the first two loops and stop there. Then we're gonna do it again. Yarn over, go underneath that chain of the loop there, yarn over and pull through the first two loops. And that is counting the chain as one, two, three. So we need three more. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through the first two. Now you have four loops on the hook here. Yarn over, go under again, pull up a, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through those first two loops. Okay, now you have one, two, three, four, five. So we need one more. Yarn over, go under, pull up a loop, draw through the first two loops on the hook. And now you have six. Yarn over and pull through all six loops. And that is your six double crochet together. And you can just grab them and kind of slide them over. Slide them over like that. And then we will chain three. One, two, and three. And we will do it again in the same loop. And this time you don't have to chain, you don't have to do the chain, of course, because now you're starting up high like this. So you just go yarn over and insert. And there's your first. Yarn over, 
pull up the loop. And there are two. Yarn over. And there are three. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. Draw through those first two. Yarn over. Insert. Pull up a loop. Draw through the first two loops. We need one more. Just kind of stretch them out to make sure you're not getting too, too tight of a tension. Yarn over and draw through all seven loops on the hook. And so now that we have this set, we are going to chain 12. There's one, two, three, 11, and 12. Okay, so now we have 12 chains, which has created a large loop. We are then going to yarn over, and what you can do is you can pinch right here so that this doesn't flip all around. And you're gonna go into your next loop and start another six double crochet together. Okay, so see how it wants to fold over? So just hold it in place with your other finger. And then yarn over and draw through the first two. And there's your first double crochet. And then yarn over and do another five for a total of six double crochet together. And I'm just gonna do it now there's three, this makes four, and one more makes five, and go back and double check, one, two, three, four, five, so I need one more. Go through the first two loops, and there you will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you should usually you usually have seven for a six, but with the chain three dip back here, it was six. But so don't don't worry about or memorize that um, if if that's too confusing. Just stick to what you see down here, which are the double crochets. And there are six of them. So we're gonna yarn over and wiggle through all those loops and just kind of keep a good tension. And now we're gonna chain three and just repeat what we did in the last loop. Slide this over, just like that and go right in for another six double crochet together. And we'll complete it together here. That makes two. That makes four. Okay, and one more will make six. I'm just kind of wiggle it, make sure it's nice and even and straight. And we'll yarn over and just kind of wiggle them all the way through, and that's it.
hook here and show. So this is what it's looking like. So for this next round, we are going to chain one. So go back into the stitch you just came out of, yarn over, pull up a loop, and draw through for a single crochet. And now we're going to do three single crochets in the next chain three space. The next loop, the next chain three loop here. So three single crochets right over that chain. And then in the next six double crochet together, we will single crochet in the top again. Okay. And so for now, for this big loop that we made, this chain 12 loop, we are going to make five sets of six double crochet together, but we're going to do it in a different way this time than we did it with these. So we are going to get ourselves into the loop by slip stitching right into it. And then we will chain three. So one, two, three, and then add an additional four double crochet together. So there's one, two, three, Four. So five total, considering the chain three as one of them, as one of the doubles, yarn over and draw through all the loops, and then chain three. And now we're going to do what's called a pico stitch, which you just go down to that first chain and yarn over, pull through the loop, and do a slip stitch. And that creates a little ball at the tip. And then we're going to chain three again. And you can slide it over. And then bring it down to the main loop and do a slip stitch to finish it. And that'll create the sixth and it's going to be, it's not going to be connected much like this, but when we make them all and we slide them over, so you just slide it over, then they'll be together. And it just takes a little bit of shaping. Okay, so let's do one more. One, two, three and then make an additional four. So there's one, remember to stop right there and add the other. It's two. Okay, so we have an additional four, including the chain makes five. We're gonna go ahead and close it. And then chain three for a pico stitch. So then go down to the first. I kinda like to slide them in between those two strands like that. But wherever you want is fine, just in that first chain. 
and slip stitch. And then slide it over. You can just grab, grab the top part and just kind of slide it over. And do an additional three single crochets. And then bring it back down to the loop with a slip stitch. Okay, great, and then just slide them over. So for the middle one, we are going to do treble crochets. So we're going to chain four this time. So there's one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to yarn over twice. So there's one and there's two. And you can kind of grab it right here if that helps to kind of keep things going and then just slide it underneath. Go through the first two and the second two, leaving two loops on the hook. Sometimes I like to wrap my yarn with my other, my other hand and go down and yarn over, pull up a loop, draw through the first two loops and the second two loops, and then you have three. Yarn over twice, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through the first two loops, and yarn over through the second two loops and there you have the three we'll do one more to make four in the middle okay all right so now we're looking at five the chain four being one of them and we're going to yarn over and pull through all of the loops and then we are going to pico. There's one, two, three, and go down into the first chain. And do a slip stitch. Just like that. And then do chain four. Slide it over a little bit and go down for the slip stitch. Okay, so there's the middle one and then do two more of the regular six double crochets together. So we're going to make the three chains and we're going to make one more six together, so we're going to do the four double in the middle here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. The first being the chain three. Pull through all of the loops, make your pico stitch, one, two, three, and then do the pico stitch, and then chain three, and then connect it down to the bottom with a slip stitch, and we'll do one more. One, two, three, and we'll do one last six double crochet together. So really doing just the four in between. So we have chain three, four double crochets, bring them together, 
do a pico stitch. And then chain three and bring it back down to the loop with a slip stitch. I kind of have to get around those. Okay, and there is the loop there, and that's what that looks like. And then we're going to just repeat everything. We're going to, so at the top of these six double crochets, we're always doing a single crochet on the top of it. And in the little three chain loop, we're doing three single crochets. So we'll do that together. So at the top right here, you can see, you just go in yarn over, pull up a loop, and draw through the two loops for a single crochet. And then in the next chain three loop, do three single crochets right over the chain. And then with the next one, we will single crochet right in the top. So that is the pattern for the last row. Go ahead and repeat all the way around and I will see you back here when you're done. All right, so I am done and I am back to the beginning. I've done my very last six double crochet together and we are at that first single crochet that we did in the beginning of the top of this six double crochet. So now we're just going to go back into that single crochet with a slip stitch to join and finish this off. So go ahead and complete the slip stitch and then yarn over one more time and pull up a loop and cut it off. And then just go ahead and weave this in, feed it through the other stitches and you can use a sewing needle if it would be easier. This end is a little short just weave it through as best you can. And then we can just snip off the end. This is the tail that we crocheted in and so it's already been woven in because we we crocheted around it when we first made our first 12 double crochets so this is already done so we can cut this off okay so you can do it any way you want to but this is how i'm going to do it i'm going to go behind the post of the very middle treble crochet together and I'm going to pull up a loop and just do a slip stitch like that and that's how I'm going to attach it and then I'm going to chain 40 
Okay, so now I've chained 40 and then I'm just gonna come right back behind again and I may even go to the next post, just wherever you find is a good spot and do a little back, back post slip stitch again, just like that. And then yarn over and pull through again and cut it off and there you have a little handle for the tree so all you have to do now is just weave in the ends here and then we'll saturate it with some water and block it to shape it and make it stiff okay so after you Soak it with water, just kind of wring it out a little bit and start to shape it. There are a lot of ways to do this. You could use spray starch if, if the water method is not enough to make it stiff enough for you. This seems to work well for me, but spray starch is always an option if you want it to be a little stiffer. Go inside the circle, kind of spread out the circle of the loop and just go one by one and just pull the points to shape them. That completes this snowflake ornament video. I hope you liked it. If you did and you have other projects that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.